Hey, it's Lisa Filia here, your confidence coach for your career. If you're watching this video, it is because you've downloaded the self-confidence guidebook where you are learning how to build your self-confidence. And in that guidebook, you found that the foundation of self-confidence is trust in yourself. The guidebook offers some ideas for how you can build that. And I wanted to come to your inbox today because I wanted to share with you a strategy that can help you apply this idea uh, to your own life. And really the key here is that the way you've learned to trust others, you can apply to trusting yourself. And knowing this process will open it up so that you can come up with some specific actions that you can take right now to build that self-trust in you. So that's what this video is all about. The workbook will help you do this along the three different steps to build self-trust, uh, but you can use this video right now to just think in terms of some ways you can apply practices to build your own trust in yourself right in this very moment. All right, so how do we trust ourselves? Well, first think about how you trust other people. So take out a piece of paper and I want you to write down things that come to mind when you think about trusting someone. Think about a relationship that you have where you have a lot of trust in that person. You really trust them. With that relationship in mind, write down why. What are the reasons and why do you have so much trust in that person? So take a moment, even pause this video to go ahead and come up with some ideas. Why do you trust that person? Okay. So at this point, you've paused the video, you've written down why you trust that person. Some things that might have come up for you were things like, well, they're always honest, so I can trust them because they're always being open with me about what's showing up for them. The other thing that might have come up is that you've known them for a little while, so you've built this trust and this integrity over time. Something else that might have come up is that they're willing to forgive you. So you also know that if you mess up, this person's not going to abandon you. They're going to stick by you. They will forgive you even when you mess up because that's the type of relationship you have. There's a lot of trust there. All these different pieces um, come together and they create that trust and you're continually building that trust through uh, the behaviors and the things that you do within that relationship. And so that's how you've established that trust. So we can take the same process now and apply it to ourselves. We often don't think about how to build trust with ourself, but it can be very similar to how you would build trust with another. You just turn it around and make it about you. So for instance, if you wrote down, well, this person never breaks their promises to me. We always hold each other's commitments. That means you can then think, how can I apply this to me? Well, I can start holding my promises to myself. If I say I'm going to get up at 5 a.m. to go exercise, that alarm goes off and I get up at 5 a.m. to go exercise. Or maybe you wrote down that piece about <coughs> constant acceptance. So if that person sees you mess up, you know they still have your back. They're always going to be there for you. They accept you no matter what. You can then do that same thing for you. So go through your list. Notice what you said is how you trust and why you trust that other person. And now turn that around to make it about how you can use that same concept to trust yourself. Doing this will help you start seeing how you can create more self-trust, which is the key to feeling more self-confident. And when we can have this trust... We know that no matter what, we have our own back. And so we can start showing up for ourselves on a completely a higher level to the point where we don't have to hide. We can speak up. We can say our mind. We don't have to people please all the time. We can truly be the person that we want to be because we have that trust in ourselves. All right. That's what I have for you today. Thank you so much. Let me know how it goes. And if you want to talk about how to dive into this even deeper, we should talk. We should do a consult call. It's a 60 minute call where we get on the phone together and we spend the whole 60 minutes completely focused on you. You will leave this call with a transformation. 
meaning you will leave with some clear insights and takeaways that you can apply to your career, to your confidence, and to your life. It's completely free. It's no obligation. I will share with you what my coaching program is like on this call if it is a good fit. But even if not, no matter what happens on this call, you will leave with some great insights and takeaways that you can apply to your life. All right, that's what I have for you. I will be seeing you soon uh, in your inbox with some more strategies and videos on how to build that self-confidence. Thank you. Bye.